Welcome to Rock Codes. I'm Rasheen. I want to help you code something awesome. Today, we're going to code some back end. We're going to do a Apollo, or I'm sorry. <laughs> See, even I'm doing it. We're going to do a GraphQL back end server. Um, just a basic server um, that does not use Apollo. Now, before we do that, why would we want to do this? Apollo is probably the Coca Cola of GraphQL. Like, you cannot, I challenge you to go find how to set up a GraphQL, GraphQL server, a tutorial that does not mention Apollo. Go ahead. I'll wait. You're back because you didn't find Jack. What I wanted to do is kind of show you guys that Apollo, while it's a great tool, um, you don't actually need it to create a backend server. Uh, it's actually a, a GraphQL server is a relatively simple thing to create. It's almost as simple as just creating a REST server, uh, except for the fact that you'll be using the GraphQL schema language to describe your queries and uh, obviously all the other benefits that come along with using GraphQL. Why would you really want to do this though? What is the problem with just using Apollo? Well, Apollo is big. It is a platform. It is created by a company that makes money. Uh, for doing this. Uh, it's not out of the kindness of their heart. On the one hand, you may just want a simpler setup for your backend server for GraphQL. You may be worried about the size of your server. Maybe you're doing some type of specialty application where you know you don't need all these dependencies. Uh, right here, we're looking at npmjs.com for Apollo Server. Um, it only has five direct dependencies, but it has a lot of dependents. It's just not the smallest thing you could use. Bundle phobia shows 1.5 megs, which not, doesn't necessarily mean much as far as on the back end. You're not sending that to a client. However, that just goes to show you that it is complex. Uh, you know, it's it's not a simple thing. It has a lot of features that you may not even need. And, um, you know, so we'll just go through real quick. We'll build this thing out. You'll see how simple a GraphQL server actually works. And even if you don't decide to continue this route for your future projects, it'll give you a better understanding of how a Apollo or a, <laughs> see, I can't stop saying Apollo. This is crazy. Uh, it'll give you a better understanding for how a GraphQL server works. Once I actually built one out, it kind of, um, gave me a better understanding of how it relates to a standard like REST server. Uh, they're very similar. Um, so let's check this out. So the first thing we're going to do is initialize a project. All right. We have a new project. How exciting. Let's get a terminal going here. And there's only a few dependencies we need to actually get a GraphQL server up and running. So all we're gonna need is express GraphQL and express GraphQL. So express is the backend uh, framework that you may be familiar with that you pretty much use it's synonymous with node. Um, you're pretty much not doing a node backend without express. GraphQL is the reference implementation of, of GraphQL. Um, so it's basically the official implementation. Um, and Express GraphQL is a middleware for Express that allows us to use the GraphQL implementation. So, so far, easy peasy, right? So let's create a new file. Let's create server.js. We'll go ahead and get everything set up. And we'll build a basic schema here. We'll get a basic schema going here. Let's see what I wanted to use. All right, so here we call build schema. That takes a string that describes our schema. Let's get a query going on here. And we want to listen to port 8000. And we want to actually use our middleware here. And we need to set up this root value. 
I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste that in here. Straighten that up. Now let's give this thing a whirl. And let's add in our uh, GraphQL endpoint. And we'll go ahead and make sure that we set graphical to true. This will allow us to see what we're doing here. Let's try with node mon. Probably want to use the right endpoint name. All right. <laughs> so we should be able to get some data here now. And we can see that we, we are getting some autocomplete. So we have an artist and the title of the song. Let's get that out of there. All right, so we are getting our data. And that is it. We have made a gra an entire GraphQL server only using, uh, let's look at the package JSON to confirm, three dependencies. Um, now, you could go as advanced with this as you want. Um, or you could keep it like this. This may be all you need. That's going to be it for today, folks. As always, I appreciate y'all stopping by. And if you want to go deeper into something like this or you have anything you wanted me to cover on the channel, please leave a comment. If this has been helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Peace.